Frank, is at a geopolitical level. You know, 15 years ago, we were talking about the two-state solution constantly. The two-state solution, a peaceful coexistence between a Palestinian state and Israeli state. And there was lots of discussions about that in, in Oslo and, and Camp David and various other places. But I, that, nobody's, I haven't heard too many people talk about the two-state solution recently. It seems to me that the way this has progressed in terms of the way the Palestinians see themselves, especially driven by groups like Hamas, there is no possibility of, of peaceful coexistence. Well, certainly not in the short or the medium term. I mean, that uh, ship seems to have sailed. There is very little possibility of any diplomatic solutions or even any uh, behind-the-scenes dialogue, uh, because very often what a lot of the Palestinian politicians are saying is that they want nothing less than the destruction of Israel. So if the destruction of Israel becomes their uh, immediate objective, then diplomacy and dialogue uh, acquire a, an entirely perfunctory role. It basically becomes a discussion about hostages, discussions about the peripheral issues uh, facing the, these different societies. So we are now faced with a, a almost like a never-ending war situation where this is likely to continue until one side succeeds in, in destroying the other. I and mean, that seems to be the dynamic that's in place at the moment. To talk a bit more about the decolonization notion Decolonization, I think originally, Frank, correct if I'm wrong, was used to describe uh, Britain, for instance, withdrawing from its empire uh, and uh, you know, actual moves by a country to move, uh, to give independence to other countries. But this is quite different, isn't it? This is very, very, um, very different concept now. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is totally different. Decolonization uh, means uh, essentially calling into question any of the achievements of Western civilization. So you now I talk about decolonizing the classroom, decolonizing mathematics, decolonizing institutions, the state. It's used in a very general sense. And what it really refers to is that you basically want to uh, destroy or call into question all the values and all the norms and all the achievements that's associated uh, with Western civilization from the Greeks all the way through the Renaissance, Christianity, Judaism, all these things are seen as uh, targets for decolonization. And what we see in Israel is the practice of that. So before we just saw the theory of decolonization, now we see decolonization in action because in their eyes, Israel symbolizes Western civilization in the Middle East. And in their eyes, Jews represent hyper-Western individuals. And if you are uh, in the business of trying to destroy that civilization and uh, marginalize its, its influence, then targeting Israel becomes entirely sensible.